Hi, everybody. Here we are. Holy moly. How exciting. Yeah. We're at the L.A. Podfest right now. This is fucking ridiculous, We're right? in the penthouse at a fancy hotel. <laughs> Holy moly. This is excitement if I've ever heard of it before. <laughs> Thanks to everybody watching at Daily Motion. <laughs> I would say make some noise, but we wouldn't hear you guys because you're in bedrooms right now. I brought my dog. I, I, I got the, uh, they have a, they, they, this is a dog friendly hotel, so you can pay the $75 so your dog can fuck the shit up in your room and you don't have to pay any extra. So if anyone wants to piss and shit in my room, I know I already did. The dog, when we were in there, the dog actually came out and had a little something in its mouth. We thought it was poop for a moment, but what was it? It was a little chocolate. His do tiny dog found a tiny chocolate and was walking around with it in its mouth. So, yeah. so thank you, Sheraton Delfina. Yeah, for thank you. Thank you for uh, allowing my dog <laughs> to find poisonous chocolate underneath the fucking dresser. That's right. The Sheraton Hotel where we kill the cutest baby dogs you've ever seen. <laughs> um, hell yes. As always, please put your hands together for our head of security, the one and only... Iron Patriot is here, everybody. A huge, huge fan favorite of the show. Against anyone who would our way of life. I am the Iron Patriot. There is a real human being underneath that suit. And tonight was the first night after uh, 18 w episodes of this show in which we actually, Brian and I, and some other people close to the show, got to meet the man under the suit. Uh, Jeff Crabtree. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Saw his face. Yes. I'm excited to be here tonight, Tony. Well, we're excited to have you, man. Uh, it was amazing because, you know, we always knew that the $5,000 suit shipped from Norway under $700 of shipping costs was a really big deal. But we, when he pulled up today, he got his car valeted, and he needed all of our help because the suit actually is in three separate crates and two gym bags. Am I exaggerating? No. No, it, it, was, it was quite challenging to get it down here, Tony. <laughs> but it's worth it because I like being with so many people that enjoy podcasting like me. It's unbelievable. And that's how he found us in the first place. He showed up after episode one in that squeaky, fantastic uniform that we all love. And he came right up to me and he goes, Tony, I'm a big fan of the Death Squad. I'm a big fan of you. I'd love to be part of any show, any time. And I go, well, that's great because you're our new head of security uh, for no apparent reason because he can't even move in this suit. He really, he, has, he doesn't know what he's looking at. He never knows which camera is taking the picture. And that's really what we love about him, is that even though he has a huge thick of armor, there is one regular, very normal human being underneath it all. Well, 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 wait, wait. He has a huge foot fetish. He's right. uh, also, in a past episode, he said that he put chocolate on his dick the second time he ever came and let his uh, cocker spaniel lick it off of him right. uh, when he and was he, younger. And he's not known to lie about things either. And he actually changed into this outfit in my room when I wasn't there with my little shih tzu. Did you fuck my shih tzu? <laughs> yeah. Was that your chocolate? Yeah, were you the one that planted the chocolate there? This whole thing's coming full circle right now. <laughs> I basically served my dog Buffy a banana split. I had the nuts, the banana, the chocolate, the cream, and I was even circumcised when I was a small baby. What? <laughs> All right, I'm really not sure how that applies to anything, but... Uh... Less to lick off of, I guess. Another fun thing about the Iron Patriot you know. that we've noticed over the last few weeks, a developing story with him, is that he has an uncontrollable left arm twitch. Not but, anymore, uh, Tony. I got it figured out. I put my hand right here and I, nothing happened. I told you not to do that. You have to no. take your hand out of that. Take your hand out of that. No, no. That, that, that's like that's awesome, though, man. They, like Your character has to have an arm twitch. Yeah. yeah. The left that arm... isn't going to turn on the ladies, though. They're going to think I have Parkinson's disease or something. <laughs> I don't think you're turning on the ladies regardless, Patriot. I don't think that's nope. the, that should be your nope. worry. Nope. I'm a good kick. Some woman better snatch me up quick. If you, if you don't take your hand off of that little pocket that no. hides your left arm twitch, I swear to God, we're going to hire the aluminum Patriot next week to take your place. We're going to slightly <laughs> push you down. <laughs> right. No, no, no. Well, uh, this is so exciting. Patriot, uh, 
Yeah. By, by the way, Patriot used to be in a band in, in, in right. Austin, Texas, was it? I'm in Dallas. Dallas, Texas. In the 90s, he had a band when the grunge era was going on. Like, you know, sad, depressing, fucking shitty music. He had, like, the happiest band in the right. whole entire it, world. It was basically the B-52s of Texas. Yes. And, uh, you know what? I think Do before we bring up our guests tonight... Hey, let's, let's play song. Hey, can you guys turn it up a little? This is one of his hit songs, by the way. That's bringing out a vine in the jungle. His name is Jacob. That's a funny name for your monkey. One day he found him lady. She was climbing on a tree. She was with Petra. That's a funny name for your monkey. That's a funny name for your monkey. <laughs> you could see why the band didn't take off. Um, the Iron Patriot, everybody, and his uh, banana helper. And uh, that's actually a very racist song. Uh, the, 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 the lead characters are monkeys, and the names were what? Uh, Laquidra. No, it's Jacob and Latidra. Two monkeys in the jungle. Latidra was playing hard to get. And Jacob said, come, I want to share my banana with you. <laughs> yes. I like the female brothers, Tony. I'm, I'll tell you that. I like Beyonce, Kerry Washington. I like, uh, you know, all the female brothers. One thing you should know what? about the Iron Patriot is he's from Texas, so he has that innocent racism that, right. that, 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 that you that you doesn't know he's being racist. It's accidental racism when you don't know that it's racist. Like when you call black women female brothers. Yes. I that like is the female... Not that is I not like, a natural thing. You created that. People, other people don't do that. Yes, yes. I like the female hombres, too. Eva Ooh. Longoria. She has some really cute feet. Ooh, I like to lick on those toes. <laughs> Damn. Well, what's amazing is that the Patriot is just here to make sure that uh, nothing goes too crazy uh, during the show. The actual format of the show, for those of you just joining us for the first time, is... We take, uh, well, normally we do it out of the comedy store every Monday at 8 o'clock, and there's about 30 to 35, sometimes 25, sometimes 40 comedians who sign up and hang out in the room to be part of the show, hoping that their name gets picked out of this here bucket so that they can do 60 seconds of material in front of us and always two fantastic guests. Uh, in hopes of some kind of uh, constructive criticism, either positive or negative or anything in any way to help them for the future. Uh, and they are open for any advice whatsoever. And tonight we have pre-booked ten of the finest young rising comedians around. Uh, some, some, uh, one person, I do believe it's their first time ever going on stage, which is something that naturally happens on Mondays at the Comedy Store. And we are so very excited. Uh, are you guys ready to bring up our two guests tonight? I think you're going to be very pleased with the quality of our guests. Uh, first, uh, return guest. Uh, you know him from the hit movie Super High Me, his new show on the internet, Getting Doug with High. Put your hands together for Doug Benson, everybody. Hell yes, he's back. And our second guest, uh, one of my favorite comedians in the world. You know him from his hit podcast, WTF, and from the hit show, Marin, on IFC. Put your hands together for the only Mark Marin! Holy moly! Wowzers! Holy moly! This is like a dream come true, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Hello, my female brothers! <laughs> <laughs> I want to take this out. <laughs> Mark, I gotta ask, what's your initial reaction to the Iron Patriot? Yeah, what do you think of the I went. In, I was in the elevator with him, <laughs> and then he said, "Oh, I'm on the same show as you." I'm like, "Oh, fuck! Really? <laughs> what is this circus? What is this red band fiasco?" What sort of strange, desperate activity am I involved in? Oh. Do you, is this something you do at parties or specifically for this? Yeah, I live down on Hollywood Boulevard. I'll take pictures with people for tips, and I come to the comedy store every Monday. That's something I want to say to you, Mark. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. 
on the on the third episode of Kill Tony, we had Dean Delray on the show. Yeah. And I was telling him how much I enjoyed the podcast you did with him. Yeah. And there's something you don't know about that interview, though. Okay. Because two days before that, he hurt his balls riding a bike. I know. And he was on medication, yeah. and he said he didn't even remember your interview. Well, it, he said to me that he wasn't sure he wanted me to post it because he was on the pain meds. And then I sent him the interview, and I said, dude, you were great. And it's okay. Mark, yeah. you're really having a conversation with that guy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, I want to say something to you, Doug. Doug, can I talk to you for a second? Doug, he's talking oh, to pa you. Patriot oh, I'm sorry. I'm Doug. sorry, Patriot. What's up? Oh, do I got to call him Patriot? You or call him whatever you want. It was great meeting you, Doug, in August on Kill Tony 13. We bonded quickly over our mutual love of Bridget Fonda's feet in Jackie Brown. Now you remember that, We don't do you? both love her feet in Jackie Brown. Wait, yeah. he, so he's one of the guys that hangs out on Mondays? He, yes. comes, to the, he comes to the store dressed like that? Yeah, yeah he his, has to ride yeah. on the bus standing up because he can't uh, he, sit down he in he that suit. Once, he, once the suit's on. So this is like your thing? Yes, it's, it's my gimmick, my stick. <laughs> and he's well, also an extra, though. He's also in a lot of TV shows. Of you course can find he is. Easter egg. <laughs> of course he is. Right. Now, could I say one more thing, Doug, oh, before we go? Boy. <laughs> Doug, this is what I want to say. Please. To one, more, one more thing. Okay. Three of the biggest podcasters, Joe Rogan, Mark Marin, and Adam Carolla, all started in 2009. You started your podcast in 2006, Doug Loves Movies. How did you have the foresight to start podcasting so early, Doug? Wow. That's what a great, great quote. Put your hands together for the Patriot, everybody. That's awesome. Yeah, Doug. I thought, you know, if I get into this thing early enough, maybe some other guys will come along and they'll be much bigger than me at this. <laughs> <laughs> he was begging me to be bigger than him. <laughs> uh, I don't think I am, though. I think we're, yeah, you do really good. Yeah, it's, it, I do okay, but it's like... Um, you know, there was this thing called handheld comedy. It was like a site that uh, Never Not Funny and my show and a few others were on. So uh, they, they'd come to me and said, you know, they thought podcasting could have uh, advertising and whatnot. And we did it for a while, and then they went out of business. Mm. And uh, and then, you know, now that I'm out on my own, uh, we have advertising. <laughs> so are you now thanks, handheld comedy, yeah. whoever, wherever you are. Are you now having a conversation with the robot? No, no. I'm just, <laughs> I think the robot. I'm just, <laughs> whatever that is. Yeah. Over there. When you when you sing, uh, Patriot, do that, you um, uh, are you a little jealous uh, the, of Daft Punk's punk success? Like, right. do you think maybe your banana song was too happy because they have the, all their songs are sad and it seems to work? Yeah. My people, banana... people don't want happy robots. They want sad. Yeah. Ones. Well, my banana song means different things to different people. And you can take it however you want. You can literally banana or the man's genitalia. <laughs> oh my there's, God. A, there's a whole lot of hurt in that suit. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody has dark secrets from their past, Mark. Don't you agree? Everyone what? Has dark secrets from their past? Oh, no. What's this story? <laughs> <laughs> right. What <laughs> needs to be covered up with $6,000 worth of armor? <laughs> I love that he has the, his microphone that he talks to is, is uh, pointed at his abdomen. Yeah. <laughs> It's balls. Did he, <laughs> is this a is this a standard is this a, a standard yep. superhero thing or is this like a special suit? Do I, it's I a, the Iron Patriot from the comics, not yeah. the movie, not Iron Man three. This is from the comics. The Norman Osborn that fought against Green Goblin. I mean, no, no, that was Green Goblin and fought against Spider Man. Okay. And he stole Iron Man's suit and became a villain. He tricked America to thinking that he was patriotic, but he was really a villain. The this Iron is, Patriot. This is what happens right before he loses his fucking life. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. You know, like that tone? It's like, yeah. no, you listen to me. <laughs> I met him earlier today in the elevator. Oh, and, uh, yeah, when he, was, oh, when, he, when he was outside of the suit. And he's, and he's much less emphatic. He's, when he's in the suit, he really lays down the law, but when he's just hanging out in an elevator, he looks like a stoner that I couldn't sure. pick out of a lineup. Yeah. It's just, it's just starting to creep me out a little. <laughs> Do you want to say... Mark, I can tell we're going to be good friends from here on out. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, Patriot, you just made it worse. <laughs> Why don't you give me the address of your garage? I'll come up for podcast next week. <laughs> no. 
No, yeah, do I not give out your address like yeah. Tony Stark did in <laughs> Iron Man 3 because you, you, you can come, come any time as long as you're in the suit. Okay, can yep. I look at your uh, girlfriend Jessica's feet? Yeah, whatever. You, whatever. <laughs> wow, I, you, you're gonna have to ask her, and you know it's a weird request, and I I would take it as an insult, but I feel I feel a, a sort of bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's his actual laugh. Of course that it is. Suit. That's not some robot button that he hits, by the way. Why would you take someone loving your girlfriend's feet as an insult? No matter who it comes wait, wait, from. Wait, wait, because it was prefaced by, you know, a guy in a fucking suit saying he's going to come to my house uninvited. <laughs> right. That's it, like I'm supposed to say, like, oh, thank you. What do you mean uninvited? He asked for your address, and I told it to him earlier tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mark, Mark, this, this is another podcast I liked. I liked when you interviewed Aubrey Plaza. Yeah. Because I am an extra on the show Parks and Recreation. And I saw her on the set, and I told her how much I enjoyed that podcast. And she told the story about how she almost had a, she had a heart attack. A stroke. Remember that story stroke. when she had a stroke? Yeah. I, I love that podcast, Mark. I, I, I'm a podcast lover. The repetition of my name is weird. Right. Yeah. <laughs> also, that, that Aubrey Plaza told you a story is hard to swallow. Like, how long did you talk to her for? No, I just told her how much I loved hearing her on that. Yeah, and then she called security. Yeah. Well, <laughs> which is not you on that set. You're just an extra. Yeah, right? I am. I am just an extra. I'll you gotta watch it. your I'm place, one of the city hall you. employees. You are. Yes, you see me in the background. They just did the premiere last week, and I was right behind Rashida Jones in a screenshot. Wow. So everybody, look for him. Uh, look yeah. for the guy who you don't know what he looks like. <laughs> right. He'll be right in there. You can see it. Go to my Facebook page. You'll see all my pictures. I got a lot of great pictures. Just look for his crazy thing he does with his left arm. Hey, are you right. on the... Uh, yeah, the way your left arm twitches. Are you going to be an extra on Michael Jackson's... I mean, right, Michael, Michael Fox. J. Fox. Yeah, you should be on Michael Parkinson's Jackson. recreation, Patriot. Oh! <laughs> that works out. I'll take that O as a laugh. <laughs> Um, that was well, solid. That was good. You know, as amazing as it is, the Patriot is only secondary to uh, the main format of this show, as you guys. Oh, know. I thought this show was just talk to the Patriot. I, I know. Trust me, <laughs> that's coming soon. He's that's one of the special talk bonuses to the glowing, of the show. Talk to the glowing hands of the Patriot. While that on itself could totally run as a podcast, I know the actual format is uh, comedians. You know, trying out. Is the 60 Patriot seconds. even in the shot in the uh, Daily Motion? Live feed. Uh, that's Better a good question. Daily Motion knows what's it going on. We got multiple thumbs do. up from deep okay, in the back good. of the room. They couldn't wait. It would be wait. great if he was framed out and we all looked insane. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking over there and talking to a robot voice. Oh, it's hilarious. I'm sorry. Keep explaining the premise of the show. No, fuck yeah. So uh, comedians do 60 seconds. Doug, you've been on it before. Mark. Yeah. I uh, first thing when I saw Doug, I'm gonna just I'm just gonna tell him Doug in okay. the lobby. I go. Hey, I go, yeah, what, what, what's up, Doc? And he goes, I just can't wait to see what Mark has to say to these comedians. <laughs> because we know you are so, I, I don't know how to word it. I mean, there's no way to word it. You're so balls deep into comedy. I mean, you I'm are. I'm not sure that was the best way to word it. You're definitely your dick not. Is that's so that's far in that's comedy. That's, you, that's why I preface it when I don't know how to word it. Yeah, yeah, my dick is way up into. It's super in right. comedy. Like, there's right. That, you I know, mean, is anything you ever like... think about other than comedy? <laughs> well, no, man. <laughs> no, Just I... being balls deep in comedy is my life. Right. Uh, well, you know, I, I'm. It, I, no, I'm not going to be mean. I'm going to be. I'm not. I'm going to be. Oh, you're going to be supportive and. Yeah. Uh... It's a fucking minute. What do you? What do these poor guys right. do in a minute? No, of course. Yeah, supportive. <laughs> Oh, hello. There's for real? Broken glass. Was that for real? That was the loudest breaking glass I've that ever heard. Like someone band. jumped up on their chair and, and then threw it purpose. down in the ground as they as they dove off of it. He's excited was about that. Was that real? He's <laughs> <laughs> excited about the sound. But at least we know the Patriot is ineffective in those situations. <laughs> I'm watching very closely, Doug. You don't know what I'm looking at right now. There ain't gonna be I, no I can, massacre I can here. guess what you're looking at right now. There's that some people with feet in the front row. <laughs> <laughs> that dude's feet right there. Open toe sandals too. move to the back. Um, so they do 60 seconds. It's 60 seconds when they hit that exact time frame. They hear the meow of the kitty. That's what it sounds like. And if Who's they go too far over that? their time. Whose idea was the meow? 
Uh, was it your idea, Red Bell? Yeah. Did me? Uh, of course. Was. What the fuck, Mark? Is that a real question? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, because feet don't make noise. Yeah. And if they go the too long after the their feet. minute after that, if they can't wrap it up after that, the angry West Hollywood bear comes <laughs> out. That sounds extra angry tonight. It sounds like he's upped his game for Why the podcast. Why West Hollywood bear? There's no cock sound. Normally we're in West Hollywood. We do this at the comedy store every week. Um, wow, that's a you, you download extra growls for the special yeah, occasion. That's, that's an angry um, so, uh, what do you guys say we get this thing started? Ten rising comedians doing sixty seconds each. We randomly pull them out of buckets, so it's spontaneous. Let's get this thing started. So, your first comedian tonight goes by the name of Ari Manis. Everybody, here he is. <laughs> Thank you guys, thank you guys. My name's Ari. I'm a t-shirt and jeans kind of guy. I think my bank knows me a little too well. I recently bought my first suit. As soon as I walked out of the department store, I get a call from Chase. Hey, I think your credit card got stolen. Doesn't match up with your nightly purchase at Taco Bell. And filling up your gas tank $6 at a time. <laughs> Girls say they want a nice guy. A guy who's not gonna take advantage of them. Girls don't want a nice guy. Girls say they want a nice guy. They want a nice dick. Girls say they want a guy who's going to write them poetry, take them for long walks on the beach. Yeah, that's true. Girls want those things. After they get pounded by a dick. Thank you, guys. <laughs> was, wait, you only did 27 seconds. Pounded go, by go, a go. dick. Oh, Good man. night. Wait, he's got two. Do two more yeah. jokes. Two yeah. more jokes. Yeah, two dig more deep. Jokes. Recently was cuddling with a lady. She gets, <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you. She gets up to go to the bathroom, and it was really cute. Well, yeah, no, I was calling with her. She gets up to go to the bathroom. It was really cute. She turned on the sink so I wouldn't hear her pee. It was so sweet. She was embarrassed. Do you guys believe that? Mm. But then I heard it. Spoosh. It's disgusting. I did not know girls did that. I was not told. Meow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, maybe you should have stopped at 27. Yeah, I should have stopped. I, was, I had yeah. a strong 27. We see why you brought the 27 hey, seconds. He's like, yeah, I got more time. Off. Check out <laughs> Spoosh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do that joke yeah, where the girl takes a dump. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work out the way I wanted. I'm going to go to the saver on this one. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> so what are we supposed to do now? Um, Anything you want. Now now you whatever I Constructively criticize oh, to him? the Spoosh. What's your name? Ari. Ari? Yes. Nice you? Yeah. Oh, surprisingly, yeah. All right. <laughs> uh. I, first of all, will you want me? Am I starting? Sure. Yeah, sure. Are you a teacher? Uh, no. Twenty-four years old, college graduate. Uh, so, community. what was the first bit? I'm sort of a teacher in jeans kind of guy. Oh, a t-shirt. Oh, t-shirt. Okay. Yeah, t-shirt all right. And jeans kind of guy. <laughs> yeah. It's good to know you I lost know. Mark at your third word. I know. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I just think I'm that a teach, teacher in shirts, <laughs> kind of. You did an interesting thing, is that you know you had good setups, and then and then the punchlines actually felt like more setups, like like the like the punchlines were were not. Um, they, they should be funnier generally. All right. <laughs> Thank you. No, the setups yeah. were good. I mean, there, there's a structure there, but you should, yeah. make, you should make funny choices with the tags. That's my. Right. That's my. Uh, note was that I felt that you delivered it all extremely professionally like you seemed confident and you seemed like that everything you were saying was was funny and mm -hmm. now you just need to get something that's funny to say <laughs> slip that in there no, like for instance like you know t like six dollar <laughs> withdrawals at the bank and Taco Bell yeah there's funnier things in that right? right like the setup's good they're like oh you you like someone's fucking with your credit card because they just bought a suit yeah. which is unusual because you usually spend the money on funnier things yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah no that's that's a good that's solid feedback thank you right yeah I know no, yeah, that's, yeah um, and my good, girlfriend good went in the bathroom and I could hear her whispering to herself he's not <laughs> I'm glad I signed up for this. This is, uh, this is nice. Don't don't get discouraged, buddy. No, I, no, no, seriously though, you really you've got your polish. So just uh, keep doing what you're doing. Ari, I like the fun. idea though. It's a, it's a good idea because it is it, it is like putting six stars of gas in your your tank. We've all been there. We've yeah. all done the dollar. I've done the dollar put in it. Dollar. Just to, like, 
Get yeah. No, no, no. It's, I think I think his heart's in the right place. Totally. I I think that I think that the six. I also, think Mark, he's six, probably going to be the best one of the night. No, <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh boy. I think that the six dollars worth of gas. It, uh, you did two, right? On that, there were I did, two things. Uh, yeah, I eat at Taco Bell for dinner. And yeah, six dollars of gas. I yeah. think you need to fucking lose it a little bit, dude. You're too fucking structured. You hung up on jokes. You know, you, you, yeah. there's something like you, open it up, dude. Open yeah, it up. Don't dwell on jokes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let me ask you something. Let me uh, ask you something. Yes, sir. Are you the guy from Kill Tony Six that took the girl rock climbing? That's me. And wanted to impress her? Yeah. Remember that's... him, Tony? You remember him? Yeah, I yeah. do remember that. That was we, one of the most popular bits lesson. that came out of uh, <laughs> yeah. came out of all the shows, yeah. where he uh, on Valentine's Day, right? But none of that was part of the original joke. The yeah, joke original, but not originally. The way he said it, we ended up finding out all this stuff just yeah. from asking him questions. Uh, for example, like when the girl did that actually happen, where a girl went pee and she turned on the sink. That one was, uh, unfortunately, I'm going to reveal to you guys, it was made up. That's a made up joke. It's, it's, a, but it's, it's also, you know, uh, you know, you're not 14, dude. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> you know, your girl shit, and, you know, it's just. It's just <laughs> you know what? <laughs> sell that, sell that bit to a 14 year old comic. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's what I wrote it for, the children. Um, Seriously, I know, I, where, where, did you go to college? I did, yes. How'd that go? I graduated. Yeah. Barely. You're, you're a smart guy. It's going to work out for you. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. You heard it from we my We give you our first. blessing. Fuck yeah. You it, so thank you, so guys. I don't want to be mean. You, yeah, thank you. It was thank great, you. man. Hell thank yeah. Thank you, guys. All right, man. It's everybody. Should. That's number one. We're down with one. Mark, I don't think we should touch them. No. He's at Ari Manis on Twitter. I just know that, like, I'm going to say something tonight, and, like, 15 years from now, you know, one of these guys is going to come up to me <laughs> and go, you remember that fucking night where we did that thing? Right. That, that fucking thing, and you said that thing to me? Well, look at me now, you fuck. <laughs> yeah, and you're going to say, let's sit down in the garage and work this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And that is the magic of it. You know, there's been a lot of episodes, or I mean, just a lot of times since we started this podcast where somebody will come up to me and go, hey, man, uh, you know, dinosaur vagina thing. That's a four minute bit now. It's my new closer. You know what I mean? It's amazing to watch how sometimes there'll be some, I mean, dinosaur vagina. Again. No, I get it. That's I get like it. the balls deep of references. No, no, it's good, but, buddy. Uh, it's good. I, I, it's, uh, yeah, well, it's helping people. Is what it is. Saying. It's really incredible. Sometimes. And other times you don't see the person again. And it's like, yeah, we got him to quit. Good. No, I'm kidding. That's not true. Oh, they'll be back on Monday. Yeah, always. That's at Ari Manis on Twitter. You guys ready for your next comedian? Let's keep the fun train moving along. It just never ends. All right. Your next comedian is Lil Bro. Wow. I uh, just moved down to L.A., uh, really didn't move down here, uh, don't have enough money to get back home. I met a chick online, and uh, the bitch Matt Titeo me, man. You know, because I pulled up, like, I met her online, and I swear I felt like Lil Red Riding Hood, because the door opened, but I couldn't see her, and she stuck her foot out the, the door, and I was like, damn, what big feet you have. And she stuck her leg out a little more, and her legs looked like Earl Campbell. And it was where you could see the muscle. You remember Apollo Creed when he was running on the beach? You could see the muscle. You know, I'm like, damn, what big legs you have. And she finally came around the door. I'm like, bitch, is that an Adam's apple? I'm like, you can see that. I swear to God, I met EJ. I swear to God. Because I, I go online for dating, and I'm... Like, you don't want to click on the ladies whose names start with a T, like Teosaurus Rex. Like, I'm thinking she a headhunter because she a carnivore. I'm like, she like meat. There he is. He got both the cat and the bear on that one. Um, <laughs> every once in a while, Brian gets a little excited, and that bear comes out quick. I get excited. Uh, what was the EJ thing? I love that little red hiding hood thing. All the way have you lost me. It's uh, Magic Johnson's son. EJ, oh. EJ. Okay. Oh, okay. Nobody like, knows why'd you, who like, EJ. I, I was like, you know, I was sort of. <laughs> <laughs> what, Doug? He's like six seven, wearing high heel pumps. Like, uh, why did you just go with cock over Adam's apple? 
Yeah, I mean, I kind of saw it coming, but like you're like, is that an Adam's apple? I mean, you set up the leg, you set up the muscles, and then like there should have been a dick there. Because yeah. <laughs> I agree. Maybe he didn't go with the dick there because he's not 14 years old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, it was tucked. He's you putting together really a classy it piece of oh, tucked? Yeah, it was tucked, and the right leg was out. So wait, this is a real story? No, I'm just. Oh. It's all made up. <laughs> God, that would have been so much better. Yes. Yeah. What's the name of the dinosaur? Uh, Teosaurus Rex. <laughs> yeah, I'll just do something. <laughs> that, I love that. Yeah. I love that you say that that way. I'm not, I'm not good with dinosaurs either, but <laughs> but I think you mean Tyrannosaurus. No, no, no. I'm, I'm like online. What's her name? There's another one called Teosaurus? They, they, no, <laughs> online. <laughs> like it's trannies. one you sit down with in the <laughs> afternoon and, have, oh, trannies. Yeah. They don't like that word. Tr trannies don't like know, to be called trannies. <laughs> what do they like to be hate called? Hate to break it to you, uh, uh, transsexuals. There's something about the uh, what, they, what they're they're, they're transgender, against, uh, yeah, or just trans. Yeah. Oh. yeah. But I grew up Thank loving you. trains as a kid, so I just call. <laughs> yeah, it's like he grew up with trans. Trans so am if it's in the morning. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, I thought you were. I thought this dude was fun. I thought I really had fun. Like uh, you know, I, a lot of it didn't make any sense to me. But <laughs> I was great, great delivery, though. I right? wasn't really worried about who EJ was. Yeah. You know, I was just sort of like, right. damn it, that's like a reference I don't know because he's you know he's one of those man bros. I should have said who uh, says things I don't necessarily get, but uh, I, I like you. Yeah. Yeah. Just out of curiosity, said. by round of applause, how many people out there did know that when he said EJ, that meant Magic Johnson's son? There's one half one liar sister. in the back of the room. Uh, a sister brother. What you right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so there's a dis so there's a disconnect there, but it's you know so we disconnect because there's but he wasn't bombing. People. It wasn't like <laughs> I'll make him into Dennis Rodman. I can say it was Dennis Rodman. Totally. Uh, okay, and then next there's thing, you, nothing, next thing you know, we're talking about Korea. I don't know about that. <laughs> Good delivery, man. Thank yeah. You. Yeah, nice yeah, cadence. Job. I was very yeah. comfortable. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Lil Thanks. Bro, always a pleasure. Very That's, relaxed. That's at Lil Bro on Twitter. Fun fact about Lil Bro. I don't know who his uh, marketing advisor is, but he spells the bro in Lil Bro. B-R-O-U-G-H. Yeah. So I thought it was Lil Brogue, and, that, and it was just going to be a small person with a Scottish uh, <laughs> lilt to their voice. He's not very little at all. No, no, yeah, that's a, he has a little dick. There's yeah. no accounting for nicknames <laughs> <laughs> after a certain point. Yeah. Oh, oh Mark's fuck, busting yeah. out some pills. <laughs> yeah. What are you eating? Just it's to get through this, he's having a nicorette. Yeah. <laughs> are oh, you he's, still on He just ate half of it. What's that? Isn't that supposed to be just like temporary to get over? Are, are you you're still, still on weed? A... Are you still yeah. on weed? Yeah, and it helped my cancer. Thank you. Oh, well, this is helping me not get cancer. Oh. That is amazing. I mean, I wish I could do that. Uh, do, you, uh, do you ever? Uh, I'm trying so hard to convince myself that uh, I need to quit smoking soon, and I think about it about 100 times a day because it's that's, starting that's to like, affect me. <laughs> is right. Is that the start of quitting? Do you remember I, that part that you were at? I quit a lot of times. I just like nicotine, and this seems to be the, the most safe delivery system. But right. Mark, didn't you say that? I heard you say that it's giving you gas. Jesus, could you warn us before you're going to do that? It's could you, you, could you say, everyone, I'm about to speak? <laughs> I think sometimes they do give you gas. I, I don't really know. I don't, I'm not convinced that that's what gives me gas, but I think they do give some people gas. It does something to you because it stinks over here. It does not. <laughs> Stop it. There's, there's mannitol in this, which is some of you old blowheads know was the, the stuff they put in blow that would make you go to the bathroom. Do you remember? Did Manitol? you just say Lil Broheads? Are those Lil Bro fans? Is that the name of his fan That's club? what they should call them, Lil Broheads. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Look at this shit. Like, fucking daily motion. Pumping out HD video wow. like, on my iPhone. Oh my iPhone. god, I just this watched myself. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Look at that. That's like really good quality. I think we're going to die that. tonight, Tony, now that we just watched ourselves <laughs> yeah. on, what is that on Brian's phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. How yeah. did we get Why inside that phone? That's Look amazing. Why do these mics do this? Oh yeah, they got a weird like. Uh, that, that's not turning it on and off, is it? No, but it's kind of like a uh, uncircumcised penis. Yeah. yeah, it is. Definitely. That's some interesting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got? Like eight more to go? <laughs> yeah. Christ. You know the bar here that's closes true. at midnight. That's <laughs> hilarious. That's some interesting stuff. <laughs> when in <laughs> doubt, when you have nothing to say, go with that. <laughs> 
Right. Wow, that's something. That's, there. that's when you know the hand's going in the bucket. <laughs> you guys ready for your next comedian? Yeah. His name is Hormoz Rashidi. What's going on, guys? Uh, you know the saying, don't bring a knife to a gunfight? Uh, but what if it's your lucky knife? Wouldn't a better saying be, bring a gun to a gunfight? Or, uh, don't go to the gunfight, it's dangerous. Or, uh, or how about, call the police, tell them there's a gunfight. Every year, thousands of people die because of gun violence. And I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do about it. I'm going to teach inner city kids math. In no time, they'll be throwing down their gang signs, and they'll be throwing up cosigns. Usually, <laughs> usually it's only an even prime number that gets that one. A friend of mine told me that wasn't funny, and now it's been proven. That's three math jokes. That's what that. Wow, dismounting at an easy, making it look easy, getting off at exactly 59.31 seconds. Like a pro, Hormoz Rashidi. Three math jokes in 59 seconds. <laughs> I thought the, uh, what if it's your lucky knife was a good line. Well, yeah. 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 And, and no one laughed at that, but I thought that was hilarious. Yeah. Did you get a laugh off of that? Yeah, well, I was laughing at you laughing at it, but that counts. That's how stand-up comedy works. Sometimes a whole table will laugh just because the laugh leader gets it going. But I, I just, I was impressed. Like, there was another punchline you had, the, the, the code one or something, where, like, it got a big cosines. laugh. Cosines. And it cosines. got a big laugh, and I was just like, I, I don't get it, but everyone's enjoying it. Right. So well, it's, a, it's a math thing. I don't know what it is. But yeah, yeah. It's it's pretty you know yeah. smart as that stuff goes <laughs> I guess, um, but uh, but good delivery and uh, you know confident, and you built yeah. in the uh, joke at the end for when you tank, which is good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. No, yeah. totally, totally. Yeah, it's yeah. good. That's it's so always good to to be able to buffer that confidence. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah I think That's you did that well. So what do you say if it doesn't work? That your friend told you that it wouldn't work, and, and that and that was proven that he was right. Right. Yeah. So that go either way. They can go either way, yeah. If That's it works, clever. Proof, yeah. yeah. So it's like a fail safe. Is like, that the only yeah. joke you have? <laughs> no, no, no. You got a few? I got a lot of jokes. That's man. great, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do they all involve math? Is that like no, a, no, is that no. A thing? This was uh, like. Math do you have anything math. about something more universal, like hot pockets? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this was. A, I think we can agree this was a math-heavy set. This was the most math-heavy set I did. A friend of mine told me that, that my math jokes weren't funny at the, at the comedy store. This was, so the, this was sort of the stand and deliver of your sets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> math, exactly. Math, math jokes are pretty hard, though. Like, I have a math joke, and half the time it works. I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, it just it doesn't always add up. I, 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 <laughs> 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 uh, but you know, oh, like, wow. look at you. You don't look like a math guy. He looks, he looks like a math guy. Yeah. <laughs> he like sells it better. But yeah. What's your math joke? Yeah. I, wanna, like I, I math actually joke. have three math jokes, <laughs> but uh, the biggest one is like I, I stopped quitting smoking cigarettes because I saw on Dr. Phil that uh, every time you smoke a pack of cigarettes, it takes off 30 minutes. Yeah. Of your life. <laughs> 30 minutes. <laughs> okay, what? But, but Dr. Phil says every time you take a pack of cigarettes or you have a pack of cigarettes, it takes off 30 minutes of your life. So I freaked out, stopped quitting, uh, you know, I, I stopped smoking. Yeah. But then I realized I could just wake up an hour early every day and everything will be fine. Yeah. <laughs> See? Math joke. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> it, it takes a long time to get to wherever that was going. I right. think that uh, Hormoz is in a math gang, actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> look at him. <laughs> Throw, throwing signs yeah. involving numbers. Yeah. Uh, no, I like this guy. This guy's a good guy. Yeah, yeah we love him. Did yeah, you definitely. ever use the somok, the Persian spice that I gave you? Yeah, it's good. Oh, it's that good, was you right? gave me. Yeah, it was yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's an interesting flavor. Wow. Yeah. 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 What? Wait, what? You give me. <laughs> Nor yo, yo, yo! Did you try that Persian spice? Yeah. <laughs> that shit I slipped you. What'd you think of that? Uh, Put he's some stevia in there. It'll kill you. <laughs> Do you guys have math jokes? Do you, get, do you guys have look? jokes that involve numbers that you're like, oh, you kind of have to do think I? about it? Yeah. No, you I know. Think I feel like I had one at some point. 
I try to remember. A lot of a lot of a lot of people that watch my comedy always go, you know, I like what you did, but not enough math jokes, and uh, <laughs> it's something that I'm trying to work on. I'm trying to get more in there. What's this Persian spice thing that you gave Mark? <laughs> I just I heard on the podcast like he cooks a lot and likes to try all this oh. different stuff. So I brought some soma, which is like the main Persian spice. Yeah. And and I just gave him some like in these little packets and yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what it, was, you, it was good. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, it was very nice of you. Do I, you I, don't, I don't know if I would use it on everything. It's not good on cereal. No, no. But kebabs. With That's rice, what you put it on. See, yeah, I fucked the up then because I went ahead and put it in cereal. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> No, no. You said it could go on everything. So. Savory. Oh, okay, right, right. That's why it didn't taste yeah. right. Not does good per, does not Persian good spice taste like old spice at all? Or is that a whole different oh thing? Oh, my God. Are you going to go up next? <laughs> ah, you <laughs> son you? of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> because they wear cologne. I have a question for Hermos. Um, yeah. Will you... Um, are, are you disappointed that there's no actual uh, helpful advice or anything in our critic like, like, <laughs> like, are you are you happy that we just liked it and that's and that's the end of it, or do would you like us to tell you something that we think you should improve? I'd lo- I mean, I'm glad you guys liked it, but yeah. If, if okay, let me tell you, you guys, some things great. that are wrong with you. Let's start with your face. <laughs> with your no, face. I'm just joking around. Yeah, I thought it was great. Thank you so much, Hormoz Rashidi. Thanks. He's on Twitter at Hormoz Rashidi. Persian spice. What did you make with it? Do you cook a lot, Mark? Yeah, I used to. I mean, I'm, I've been a little busy, but yeah, I like yeah. to cook. Yeah. Do you remember what you made with the Persian spice? I think I, I, think I put it on some uh, salmon. Does that make sense? Mm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Sounds it's good. Just a, you know, it's, got, it's got a thing to it. To the next to one. Uh, let's not talk about how the mic thing moves up and down. Have you, you ever um, have you ever listened to the Persian Spice Girls? Yeah, all the time. I don't understand them. Well, they try to you know tell you what they want, what they really, really want. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> but they're speaking in Persian. So yeah, it's very it's difficult. Hard. There's a language barrier. <laughs> has, uh, Tony, host your show. Has, oh my God, Persian Spice Girl. It's jokes like that that just fucking kill me. All right. Uh, not only is those this jokes guy, kill Tony. Is that what you're oh, to say? Oh, you son of a bitch. There you go. Full circle. Uh, not only is this guy a funny, uh, a funny producer of the show, but he's also a uh, comedy store door guy and a fundraising comedian with a speech impediment. Put your hands together for Josh Martin, everybody. Here he is. Oh, yeah. Um, recently found out that cannibalism still exists, guys, which is crazy. I didn't know that exists. Like, I feel it's crazy because we already know what stuff tastes like. Like, I know what cookies taste like, and they're delicious. Like, for most people, like, if we had to eat people, like, for more, most people, the hardest part would be eating people. Um, my, the hardest part for me would be to keep things skinny while I eat all the people, just to find one that tastes like cheesecake. Uh, like, I would eat all the people or have them suck my dick. Like, it's one of the two. You can choose to be eaten or suck my dick. Because I'm just trying to get my dick sucked, guys. That's all I'm trying to do up here, okay? Just trying to get a blowjob out of this. Um, that, that's all I actually had. Guys. Wow. So the minute that you put together was basically asking everyone for a blowjob? Um, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. That's all is is, is that right. like open to anybody, or are you, are you looking for a, specifically a man or a woman to do, um, to do that? Mostly a woman. Mostly. Um, Mostly a woman. I don't know. Do you always, do you have people bring you up as a a guy with a speech impediment? Uh, People do. Oh, so you didn't write that intro? No. Mm. Because I I would leave that out and let that be the surprise. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, There's no reason to dwell on that. Yeah, yeah. Because it's good. It's your style. I sound a little retarded, but. Yeah, but that's charming. That's me. Yeah, it is. (laughs) It's transgender, by the way. He's not transgender. He's a guy with a speech impediment. Yeah. He can't even say transgender. Um, transgender? <laughs> no, no, I can't. We do we say it, please? Uh, transgender? See? Uh, wait, what was the word you couldn't say today? You're like, I can't say that word. There's a lot of words I can't say. What was the one from today? What was the one today? I don't remember. I try to forget the words I Was can't it on we? <laughs> what was it? What? Diet, diet right. right. You, you say can't diet say diet right. right. Uh, diet white. <laughs> uh, 
I have a problem with Josh. Mark. Josh, See, I have no, a question. See, I think you should make a list of all the words you can't say yeah. right, and say them. Uh, yeah. yeah. Could you? Oh my God! Here's a good one for you to say. Yeah. Could you say or sing Katy Perry's "Roar"? Uh, wait, what? <laughs> roar the word roar like roar like a lion. Uh, war. I, I I yeah. Josh, I have a question. Who's the uh, what's the name of the character that uh, leads Santa's sleigh every Christmas? Oh, you're horrible. Um, you know my my favorite reindeer Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, <laughs> uh, which is the best reindeer of all. Let's be honest. Oh, you should just do yeah. that. <laughs> Who is it that the... That's that, actually one of my jokes. Who is it? I sang that song. Who yeah. is it the wolf is trying to eat in that fairy tale? I'm just getting... I'm getting the little, she's little, but what else is... How else would you describe her? I don't know. Uh, I'm, like what's she wearing? Uh, red riding hood. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm getting raped on this stage, guys. <laughs> well, you wanted a blowjob. You're going to you settle for getting raped. Oh, my God. I hope you're, I hope you're never raped because... Uh, <laughs> If you're yelling, I'm being waved, I'm being waved, people will just giggle and move along. <laughs> so you should open with it. Hey, are you... Uh, are you <laughs> the Patriot piles on. Are Patriot's you? like, can you say my name? He is one wooed wobot. <laughs> See, are people you? are already doing impressions of you. <laughs> yeah. you you got to, like, you got to, that's good. Most comedians. I have a, I have a speech impediment, too. It's a little, it's a little more subtle. But I have trouble with L's, too, but they're not as really? extreme. Yeah. I don't say, I can't. What kind of trouble do you have with them? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't use my tongue the same. I don't go la, la, la. I say it from my throat, so it's a la, la, la. So it's really W's. But, like, now that you know that I, I just told you that, you would notice it. But it, I'm very good at it. But I, I think that <laughs> you're so good at covering up that horrible impediment. Yeah. You have. <laughs> a roll, it's called the rolling L. But I think you just lay into it, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I just I don't hear it myself. Yeah. Uh, Seriously. It, <laughs> in my head, it sounds like I'm saying it correctly. That's that's until tremendous. I actually maybe hear if you it take off the hat like wig recording. thing, you'll hear better. Until when? Until you like what? if I hear like a recording of myself, then I can hear yeah. how I'm actually saying it. Yeah. But while saying it, it sounds fine in my head. That's good. Which That's is, good. I guess I don't know if it's good, but do you sing? I can't talk. What are they saying? <laughs> it might sound interesting. <laughs> do you want me hold on to some bananas for you? <laughs> I'll sing the banana song again. Yeah, or... sing it. No, no. Wait, you actually going to try? No, no. Can we try to download that real quick? It's good, man. It's good. It's good. Yeah. No, yeah. Josh Martin, everybody. Good guy. Good guy. Unbelievable. And a special extra shout out for Josh for being so helpful over setting this thing up this week. He's actually our producer. I'm hoping to get to the point to where one day he's the announcer and he brings everybody out. That's a so good. I think that'd be good. Totally, man. Who needs these announcers with perfect enunciation? Exactly. It's changed the game. I, I think you're right. Yeah, give people with a rolling L a break. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Let us live a little. For those of you on Twitter, you could uh, tweet Josh anything you want at Josh Martin Comic. That's his Twitter handle. That's very interesting. Mm -hmm. God damn, this thing looks amazing. Brian keeps pulling up the... The live feed of what's happening here. Do you guys see that? Isn't that just that's creepy? amazing HD. The like Patriot for your looks phone? pretty that's good. Fucking crazy. Like pretty soon, we're just going to be watching what we're going to say next on something, and we're going to just I don't know. Daily Motion. And that was, that was like space. that was wow. like half a stoner thought. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> because pretty soon we're going to be know. watching what we're about to say, Someday and then just and we're going to be just, watching. Just fell into that fucking thought, didn't you? Someday we're going to look good at fun. stuff. Yeah. And it's going to be looking back at us while we're looking at it. Yeah. And it's yeah. going to be... Um... I know. Right? Where are you going, lady? You got to take a shit? How does that fit in? <laughs> Definitely. Snap one off for daddy. Oh, yeah. Lord. That's the worst Slim Jim commercial ever. <laughs> <laughs> you can Snap tell she has big areolas, daddy. by the way, the way she walks. Oh, you know. Wow. Yeah. You, yeah. You cannot. Yeah, uh, you, you can tell. No idea. There's no way you oh, know that. Meaty, big areolas. Wow, that's interesting. What the fuck is wrong with him? <laughs> <laughs> he just likes to show off his R pronunciation. That's yeah. <laughs> right now, Josh is wondering what R areolas. What? Brian. 
All right, your next comedian, everybody, goes by the name of Frank Castillo. Hello, everyone. Uh, like you said, my name is Frank Castillo. Uh, I have siblings. Uh, I love them a lot. I, I kind of love my little sister more than I love my little brother, though. I don't think that makes me an asshole. I just think that makes me efficient. Like, if our house ever catches fire, I know which kid I'm grabbing. Like, we just run outside and we're just like, wait. Where's Maceo? No, 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 I told you guys. I would grab Osadette and my season one of The Wire. That's, uh, that's all I got for now. Wait what? a second. That was 23 seconds. I, got, I can do one Fog. more. Yeah, do Did one it seem more. like do a minute more. long when you planned it? <laughs> <laughs> the bear is mad at 23 seconds. That's hard to defend. All right, though. I'll do one more. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, we, we're gonna drag wait, 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 wait. Let the baby finish yeah, reset, crying first. Reset the clock. <laughs> okay, you can go ahead. All right, all right. Uh, I have siblings. Um, you did that one. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like you said, joke my about his siblings. <laughs> uh, I like giving advice to my siblings a lot. Uh, like I remember the first time my little sister asked me where black people came from. Like I didn't know what to say because I didn't want to ruin white people for her at such a young age. Oh, that's clever. That's clever. Um, you like the bonus joke, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a thinker. You know what I mean? It's a thinker. Right. I didn't get it. What do you mean? I, I, I must have. I, I missed it. She asked me where black people came from, and I didn't want to explain everything because I didn't want to, you know, because white, people. white people were at such a young age. Yeah, because white people did slavery. Too. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, definitely. Now Sorry, I got there it. There wasn't wordplay in it. You kind of eluded you. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it uncomfortable now? Uh, what, was, what was the thing about the the other thing about the siblings? Well, he didn't take, First he didn't, of all, you used the word siblings too many times. But he, the other joke was he took his sister in the wire, not the other kid. Like the wire was more important. Season one of the right, wire was more important than his brother. I think a lot of us were just you know caught in that moment, going, "Is is that the best season of the wire?" Because <laughs> I was I was pretty into season four. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, so we don't mind the other kid dying, but pick a different season of The Wire. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I'll, I'll make sure to get on that. <laughs> I think they actually make it pretty specific. I think it's a good suggestion, Doug. To make I appreciate specific. your suggestion. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Yeah. When you yeah, go the, on the, the other joke's good, but it's a thinker. All right. Yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was clever. And, uh, but you only have two jokes? or? Oh, I, 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 I got, got 27 like, seconds. He did use his three. whole minute, yeah, but then he got three close. Jokes. But, it's all you three know. jokes. You got to remember the first Keep four seconds it. of that were him saying, "Like he said, my name is Frank Castillo." <laughs> Do you always open with that? Uh, only, only on your show, Tony. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for bringing the thunder just for me. <laughs> I think you're you're off to a, a a good start there. Thank you. I'm yeah, also man. a huge fan of both of you guys. Oh, thanks. Oh, much. Awesome. awesome. Thank you very Wait, much. Wait, which two? <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's four of us sitting here. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was, good job, Frank. Though yeah, seriously, good you're good. good Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Get up. He's at Frank C Comedy on Twitter. <laughs> Is it, it? Does it end in an E or an O? Frank Castillo or Castillo? Ends with an O. C A S T I L L O. All right. Jesus, what are you gonna do? Suck his dick, Frank? Come on. Settle down. First person ever spell Castillo right? I find that hard to believe. Half of the major leagues is, ends in Castillo. Louis Castillo, Frank Castillo. There's even a Frank Castillo, third baseman for the Pirates. You know what's exciting is I just pulled this name, and this happens every week at the Comedy Store, and it's happening right now. This name, I know for a fact, because he contacted me on Twitter and therefore got booked on the show. This is his very first time ever doing any stand-up comedy whatsoever. It's 60 seconds right now. Put your hands together for Mark Murray. Hey, what's up, guys? So I don't know if you've heard, but you can make your own dick mold now. And dick mold sounds weird. It sounds like an STD or something. But a dick mold is actually you can get this kit so at home you can make a replica mold of your dick. And I'm thinking I might just make one and keep it in the drawer next to my bed so if I get too drunk to fuck, I'll just pull that out and use that, kind of like a backup dick. 
or I'm going to make copies for my gay friends and just let them borrow it and tell me how I am. <laughs> Today's weed is so strong and the edibles are even crazier. <laughs> I had one weed M&M at high school graduation and I was high for six years. I don't remember anything from college. I feel like it would be the worst thing ever to die while masturbating in an inappropriate place, like while driving or at work. So I was thinking, what's the worst job to die while masturbating? Gardener? Elementary school janitor? I don't know, that's it. Thanks. You hit it. Nailed it. It's funny that you mentioned masturbation and gardening because I'm a constant gardener. Yeah. <laughs> it, you, it Starring Ray Fiennes. It was, it were, you, you reminded me of, of just that, yeah, that, that energy that you come on stage with. I have no idea whether any of the jokes are going to work, but you've worked them through in your head over and over again. How'd that feel to you? It felt awesome, man. I, I, like you said, I thought it was either going to go dead silent, yeah. which, what are you going to do? I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Or... Do you not give a fuck? I don't care, man. It's my first time doing it. And you care a little. I care a little. You know, what, what are you going to do, though? Yeah, exactly. This isn't my job, yeah, so... Yeah, fucking did it, man. I there, was it. A com- there was a complete 180 there. I, didn't, I don't give a what fuck. Was the, oh, yeah, oh, I give the, a lot of a fuck. What was the, the phrase you used? Backup dick, was that it? Yeah, backup, backup dick. dick. That should be the CD title. Okay, that works. <laughs> Whoa, we're go- he's got one minute of material and we're going to record right. a CD already? Right. Let's just do one, the first cut. <laughs> That's what I mean. The other joke, the, the last joke needs a third thing. Yeah, I, I want to work on that one more, but I didn't hear the cat or the bear, so I'm like... Let's just try that. I and think it's a time because it's a special edition. You know? But but yeah. it's like you do you do like you do a gardener, elementary school janitor, and then he stops. Yeah, but there should be a funny thing. There. Yeah, I haven't found out a what, what's a good one. What's something? We're not here to write your fucking. <laughs> Half the time these guys do. Oh, they do. But I was thinking yeah. maybe um, come on, Mark, like, be a sounding board. <laughs> Give me some uh, not just tags. Board, not just board. I like backup dick, and and the uh, I, I think you should deal with some of this. The uh, the you know the issue of like if you like, your gay friends using your dick to fuck themselves yeah up, yeah it's a little weird it's pretty weird but that was your first big laugh how did that feel like first big like that's encouraging right it like, felt awesome so now I know I can talk about dick molds and like all this weird shit oh fuck yeah oh well, well no I don't know if you should be <laughs> right too excited about dick molds but. <laughs> I can just picture it now, uh, eight years from now, Tony, I have three hours on dick mold. And, uh, I, the, didn't, I, didn't know, I didn't know what he was saying for the uh, yeah, first three the times problem, he said it. The first few times like you, you said you, dick mold, it was so fast that uh, but you said it, like, it could have been all, dick old or dick yeah, cold. Or deep I've, got old. A, I've got a dick flu. But like, you said it as if all of us are going to be like, oh, yeah, dick molds. See, I got, it. To me. I got it. I got it, but I know well, yeah, about Brian it. But you should it. really know uh, about dick molds. Yeah, I... I have a tattoo of it, but uh, <laughs> no, you should really ex- maybe go like they give you a clay or what, like you should maybe do like a Where three second Where the fuck did thing. you see this dick mold? So one of my friends told me that he actually did this, that his girlfriend got this kit and he this made a replica of his dick. Start yeah. the joke like that. Okay, I, yeah. I, I'll definitely do that. that. Yeah. I need a one minute, so I didn't know how exactly how to no, start it out. Like that. You just sort of like dick molds, am I right? Uh, and like, no, yeah. you're not. You're not right at all. Who the- yeah. <laughs> you guys, let's all go down to the craft and hobby store and uh, get there, our dick molds on. There could be some bits about also about cheating the system, like like you wrap top toilet papers around your dick or something like that. Like make to, it bigger. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, like to, uh, you wait. Are you you made a mummy dick? Yeah. That you that he cheat on his dick yeah, mold? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, well, you just looking at him, you know he has to cheat on his dick yeah, mold. Yeah. Come on, right. guys. Uh-huh. But if but he, wait, wait. Why did I agree with that? What were you? What what was your point? What would be the point of cheating on your dick mold so you could sit there and look at it and go like, oh, look at that. That's, yeah. my, that's my dick I'm lying about. Right. So you could give it as a present and go, this is my molded dick dildo and give it to girls for a present and, and just have a bigger dick. I'm thinking mold. I could get some of those photo pills. you guys you? live? <laughs> what world is this where you're actually saying that to me seriously? Like, you know, when you give a dick mold to a girlfriend. Hey, I could tell a squirter when I see one, man. That's what I'm saying. Only Mark, you don't even know what they're talking about when somebody asks you to DM them. <laughs> what? One, one of my old. 
I like that. DM. <laughs> I'm it's almost that midnight. In. Let's wrap this up. Are you talking about <laughs> Daily Motion? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Daily, you, you, Daily Motion you, you changed his name to Dick Mold. You got a good yeah. attitude. You got a good attitude. One of my favorite. Did things you check out saw. that Dick Mold live streaming from the uh, <laughs> penthouse of the Melfina Del Nina? Just a little blood. I thought to be, his uh, first. Uh, yeah. I, what? Nothing. I thought the first look at him. Look at him, Mark, for the visual. I thought the first thing he was going to say is, "Come on, come on, feel it, feel it." <laughs> 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 yes. Feel the vibration. When the comedians only do sixty seconds, it leaves don't no leave. room. Don't for... you fucking leave. It leaves. Who's th- leaving? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> when the comedians are only doing sixty seconds, it leaves no room for segues whatsoever. So I love that part where he goes straight okay. out of it. So I'd give it to my gay friend, and he'd have my dick mold too. Pot's crazy nowadays. <laughs> uh, yeah. it just has to go yeah. right into the next thing. Pots, like next level. Like, you, <laughs> yeah. you smoke it, and all you can think about is dick molds. <laughs> For your first time, that was amazing, man. Yeah, Unbelievable. Really good job. Really good job. Unbelievable. 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 Cool. Mark, Thanks so much, guys. Murray. Unbelievable. Oh! Best squad for life. Very interesting Twitter handle on him. You just witnessed his first time performing. It's at M M U R R R R. Two M's, a U, and four R's. Forget it. Good luck with your Seriously, career, Mark. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure. How about cat fart Good job. pizza too? Ex- expect negative three new fans after tonight. I beg you. I beg you to change your Twitter name to Dick Mold tomorrow. Yeah. Or do it tonight. The internet's open all night. You know that yeah. shit's already taken. It's got to be Dick Mold Seven. And yeah. sign up. <laughs> sign up for affordable health care while you're at it. Dick underscore Mold one one nine three. It's gonna be great. Perfect. Go. It's better than M M U R. My old angel fire. Hat. Yeah. It could also be like Mold on cheese, like Dick Mold. Uh, your security, not uh, talkativity. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Your next comedian, everybody. He goes by the name of Scott Kidd. Hi, everybody. How y'all doing? I gotta be gone in 60 seconds. Kind of stressful. That's okay. I work well under pressure. That's why fat chicks like to fuck me. Why buy the cow when you got some magic beans? Be careful with those. One of them's a morning after pill. Found out the other day I got a girlfriend. I found out because my box of condoms turned into a box of tampons. Oh, jeez. I woke up next to her the other day. I thought I had my very first wet dream. Turns out it was diarrhea. That's all I got. <laughs> That's all I got. Uh, okay, I'm going to drop, so the, drop she, the voice now. Uh, yeah, I'm done. So you're going with the, you've made the weird guy decision. Yes. <laughs> I'm going for the electric Pee Wee Herman. I've seen, we've seen this happen before, Doug. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, we, you, you put uh, a little Harlan thought Will- into uh, your weird guy. Harlan Williams and Neil Hamburger had a baby. Yeah. Yes. They named him Scott Kidd. <laughs> How'd you feel about what happened? I had fun. How yeah. about you, man? It's all right, but I felt like you're like there's a lot of effort going into. Him. <laughs> That's my grandfather. That's how we. That's talk. your grandfather. Hi, scooter, rooter, pooter, dooter, beep, bop, beep, bop, beetle, boo. Did he no say lies. it in his no is that really silver him? suit? Yeah. yeah, really. Really? Yeah. Why don't you just do an impression of him and then do the act regular? I don't have a banjo. You have a banjo? I don't have a banjo. Oh. What's that got to do with anything? That's what he used to play. I had no idea. It's like two oh. spies meeting in alley. I don't have a banjo. <laughs> you don't have a banjo? I just think you've got to be careful with the weird guy decision because I think you've already hit the wall with your weird oh, guy. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Am I being mean? You know, the, no, weird, the weird guy decision is not a decision to make lightly. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> you've got to commit to you this really shit. Have to oh. Can you do an hour of that? Like, like 20 uh, years yeah, from probably. now, people will come to you and say, do that? <laughs> what? What? Yeah. You can? You can do an hour of that? Why not? All right. For you. Okay. No, no, no. I'm just asking practical questions yeah, about no, your no. comedic future. That's, that's you really fair. can? That's you can fair. do an hour of that? Prove it. Do it right oh. now. Who's oh, in? Right, right, right now. Right. Let's make Let's history. Let's burn ready this down. For an hour. Oh, jeez. No, no. Don't do it anymore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes, 
Yeah. <laughs> like he can do the weird guy thing for a while till he finds his own his own true voice, Mark. You know, like sometimes oh, it's hard that. to get yeah, up yeah. and just be yourself right out of, right. out of the gate. Maybe you should do the weird guy struggling with the you. Oh. Like, hey, look, I'm doing I hate myself. <laughs> Mark, Doug, was it, like, hard to find your voice? Because it, it does take, a, like, a year, a couple years to find actually your voice, usually. Like, <laughs> the last week was when it happened for me. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it takes forever. But it's, um, and it's also not necessary, like, like, character comics don't, don't really exist that much anymore. Like, they don't. We don't see that many of them, but it's not its not like uh, there's a rule that you can't do it. Yeah. You can't succeed at it. You just better but, be really, but it really just, good. But it seems like it's just hard to, like, just kind of get by on oddness, you know? Like, you got to, you know, you don't want uncomfortable laughter. You want genuine laughter. So I, th I think you could write really good jokes and, and probably yeah. deliver them in a more normal way. Oh, yeah. How many times have you done The thing that is, character? like, it's weird. Doug, though, like, like, I knew Doug, like, 25 years ago. And you ever watch... <laughs> Do you, no, but do you ever watch like those old evening at the improvs? I'm not that much different than I was, and neither are you. It's a weird thing. You think like you find your voice, but when I look at that guy, I'm like, oh, I know that guy. Yeah, it's me then. But it's not that different. Well, no, but that's that's true. That's truer of you than a lot of people. Like I had more of a shtick when I started. We I had tried, glasses. I, yeah, glasses. What a wow. crazy shtick. <laughs> that guy can't see for shit. <laughs> What's he gonna tell us? <laughs> um, yeah, I had glasses, but you know, uh, not so much the look. I'm just talking. I mean, the look also seems to fight against what you were doing because it's like it's kind of a slick uh, suit. You seem like you would, uh, you know, be uh, card shuffler. Yeah, uh, or uh, right. most <laughs> most people that wear that suit don't have a bag or, of jelly or like beans might be in their pocket, <laughs> or like you might be selling some lady bros on the street. Prop and yeah, that. What was yeah. that about? Yeah, what the prop was weird. That you I, don't I, do that I don't shit, have man. any pills, so I just. Uh, you went with some a random yeah. array of Here, jelly what, beans yeah. and Mike and I. Uh, yeah, that is what it is. It's I think not like, even from one package. Like I wouldn't eat any of those because I s swear you're trying to kill us. <laughs> I'll tell you this. This is the only thing I'll say to you. There are no shortcuts. That's it. Wow, you really, really great. Point. Really cuts really in the well heart played. of it, Mark. Just say that every time when you get out of here. Let me yeah. share something. Let me share something. <laughs> I'm not trying. I'm not trying to be mean. Hey, didn't Larry the Cable Guy start off normal and then yes. he went country? Maybe yes. he needs to go the opposite way. Start country, go normal. Thanks, right. buddy. There you go. The Patriot always with the best advice. Uh, really enlightening. <laughs> today. Yeah, you can evolve into a character. I would just, you know, I wouldn't. It's hard to start in one. It was more of a hybrid. Yeah. The jokes are been written and done yeah regular and yeah oh. yeah say one of them regular uh not the diarrhea one. Oh. and not any of the other one <laughs> 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 okay. do you have one more joke you could say regular oh it's gonna take too long nah fuck it come on <laughs> yeah. oh, shit. do you guys want him to do a joke in his normal voice or what uh. All right, this one's dark. Oh, oh good setup. Here we All go. All right, great. I'm, I'm in. Okay. Bring so the Grim the Reaper. The Grim Reaper, right? Grim Reaper touches you, you die, right? If he kisses you, you die. What if the Grim Reaper fucks you? You'd still be dead. What if the Grim Reaper kept fucking you? Would that be considered necrophilia? Mm. But the, you know, literally translated, necrophilia means the love of death. And since he's death, wouldn't that be considered a self-love? So all I'm thinking is, if the Grim Reaper ever fucks you, he's really just masturbating. Hmm. Stick with the character. Yeah, do it, uh, do it again in the weird voice. Do it again in the weird voice. <laughs> and that's a very he's really Asian. just masturbating. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's better for that yeah, joke. Yeah, it is better yeah. for that one. Right. Ding, 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 yeah, ding, ding, see, ding. sometimes even people that are, uh, know comedy are wrong. Mm. Yeah. Good there luck with go. everything. But Scott I think, kid. yeah, I think you got a future, kid. Yeah, literally, right. Scott Kid just became a man. At Devo Kid on this Twitter, D E V O K I D B. This is not, this is not a, a great thing for me, for me to do. Why? Because I always, I always feel like I'm mean, and I'm not being mean. No, you're not. You're not being mean at Shut all. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, you're so mean. <laughs> it's kind of great for you, Mark, because it's like you get ten people that are gonna, you know, ten comics that are gonna hate you and be uncomfortable around you, like in one sitting. Did I say anything <laughs> that would piss any of those people off? Yeah, can I get a, 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 nothing? No, okay, they're they're you. all so mad they're not even gonna raise their hands. Oh. 
just trying to help. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to help. You, you know what Tommy Morris at the Comedy <laughs> Store says? It, it's a sin to praise mediocre comedy, so we cannot sin tonight. I don't think... <laughs> First of all, I heard your left arm twitch after you said that. Ah, you caught me again, Tony. <laughs> he heard it. It's a, it's a very defined noise. Um, you ever think about using any WD-40 on that suit or no. anything? It's supposed to be dirty. You know he sent it battle warm. That's an easy way to sell I'm a cheap to suit. I remember my no. first joke. Do you remember your my first My eyes joke? won't stand out. If the light's too bright, then you won't see my eyes because it'll be, it's a good contrast. Here's the thing, Patriot. Um, whatever you just said was interesting, but I'm, I'm going to talk about this. Um, like, calling these people who are just trying it for the first time mediocre is really not, it's not fair because it's like they're, they're putting themselves out there and, uh, you know, trying something new. And, exactly. Uh, and know, that, that suit is not hiding your desperation. Oh. <laughs> I know. Comedy is very difficult. I, I respect. I know it's, it's not easy to do. Yeah, and so we're not, we're not here to, like, tell them they're mediocre. We're, no, we're, we're, here, to, we're here to tell them they fucking suck. <laughs> no, we're here to, you know, try to help everybody. Those first few jokes are so hard. You don't remember your first joke? Uh, I just remember I, was, I had a lot of props. My first set was at the comedy store, really? and I had a bag full of props. Really? Really? Wow. really? Yeah. I would love to at see At the comedy that. store. Mm -hmm. and, wow. I got, and I got laughs, and it encouraged me. So like, that's what I'm hoping everyone's getting tonight, is that it, it, the, the ones that are trying it for the first time, like that one guy. Did you, did you uh, have Marky, it on beta? Marky Mark. He, uh, he like got a really big laugh, uh, and I, I hope that you know, spurs him forward. Because if, if that first time, did you get laughs the first time, Mark? Uh, I, I think I got like, I got, you have like, to get something, right? No, right. Then, yeah. It was to make like you a want to come back for minute more. set. And I think I got one or two laughs. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's enough to make you come back. Yeah. And then look what happened. <laughs> but I, no, I, it was, I just, I remember the panic of that. Like you'd wait around all fucking night yeah. to do these five minute sets and then you keep getting five. bumped. Fourth, well, it yeah. was maybe five, three or four, There's three to a five. Three, attrition isn't. rate in people. But it wasn't like at the comedy store. It was in Boston. And then never do uh -huh. it again, you know. Not the people that go on Mondays. You know, they keep coming back no matter what, right? Well, yeah. Sometimes they're a little crazy, but <laughs> I just remember, like, oh my god. Was your your, your guys' shit really dirty starting off? Like most stand-up comics no, when I they used first to do start a joke off. About with having a roommate who was uh, like a deadhead or something, and. Like, uh, like he used to wake up in the morning and he'd open the refrigerator and be like, hey, orange juice and Jerry. Uh, like it was uh, something that fucking <laughs> retarded. And like, and then I used, to, I used to take the mic stand and I'd put it on the stool and just let it sit there for a minute and just say like, I recently went to the Museum of Modern Art and I just used to let the, set, the mic stand sit on the chair and people would be like, oh, like that's art. You know what I mean? It was, ridic right. it was ridiculous. So you're a prop comic too. No. Wow. I, I dealt with what I had. I pulled a. I would take out a, pe a, a stuffed penguin that I had, like a, you know. Uh, that was in the bag. It was in the bag, yeah. And it would, and it it was this thing that I got where inside the penguin, like it was a male penguin, but inside it was like this uh, plastic egg, and then if you open up the egg, there's like a little stuffed uh, penguin baby, baby penguin on the in the inside of it. And so I would just hold the penguin and then like squeeze it and the egg would pop out and then I'd open the egg and show everybody the baby penguin and then put the whole, all of it away. And that was, that was the bit. Like I was very influenced by like, uh, like Andy Kaufman, you know? And it would get, and it got a, it got a laugh. You're like people would laugh every time I did it. I eventually stopped doing it. So I was, I was like, this is ridiculous. It's getting a laugh and I'm doing, I'm doing nothing. Like I'm just showing this thing. But, uh, you know, <laughs> I used to use the uh, mic stand like as a, uh, like, um, like I think that like at the time it was like before AIDS, but herpes was something. And I used it like, like I, pre-AIDS, post-herp. Yeah, post-herp. But I, wow. I don't remember the setup of the joke, but I remembered it was a doctor examining a dick at a distance with the mic stand. Cause the, you know, the, you yeah, know, yeah. <laughs> like that, you know what I mean? Like it was horrible. <laughs> 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 We've come to your final comedian out of the bucket. What? She goes by the that's name of. That's ten. That's ten. But then, of course, we have our two regulars to close it. Oh, okay. wait, really? Okay. Yep. Your final comedian out of the bucket is a lovely lady. She goes by the name of Sarah Weinshank. This cruising down the street in my six jocking the pictures. What's up, everyone? I hate Jimmy Buffett. I hate Jimmy Buffett. Okay. 
I hate Jimmy Buffett people. I hate Jimmy Buffett and I hate Jimmy Buffett people, the people that go to see Jimmy Buffett. I want you to imagine being at a concert, watching a middle-aged man talking about how it's five o'clock somewhere with just fat people in Hawaiian t-shirts drinking daiquiris. Fat white people in Hawaiian shirts, guys, talking about it's five o'clock somewhere, you know? And I feel like most Jimmy Buffett fans, they became fans because someone said to another person, if you cover up one of those T's, it says buffet, so you know it's gonna be good. <laughs> like Margaritaville? No. I have bigger dreams. I'm not trying to go to Vegas and sit in fucking Margaritaville. Like, I wanna go, like, to leave the country. These people, they're like, let's go to Vegas. Let's go to Vegas. We'll take out the coach. We'll just, you know, go to Margaritaville. And then we'll go back, come back to our cubicles. All right. That's it. <laughs> I just have a, right out of the gate, I have a question. What did Jimmy Buffett do to you? <laughs> <laughs> that was a real Jimmy Buffett uh, uh, rant. Yeah. Like you were, you were really yeah. after him. Yeah. And I, I worry that like the audience doesn't relate to it because we're all sort of like, um, we're sort of past, you know, finding that, yeah. you know. To be you're, you're a negative. You're too thing. angry about Jimmy Buffett. But okay. Okay. You're, but yeah, you're, but you're, I like your passion. Yeah. Okay. They, you're 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 worked up as if like this morning some Buffett related incident happened. Yeah. Okay. Went down that made him. Oh, you didn't hear Jimmy Buffett tried to uh, crash the gates at the White House <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, an officer was injured. Yeah. Yeah. No, but you're very you're very uh, yeah you're angry and, and passionate and that's that's good. I just directed at something more current. Okay. Are you a squirter? Well, there Stop are it. there are. Um, there are Jesus Margaritaville Christ. is a current thing, Mark. It exists now in this world. But, yeah, uh, and but it is five o'clock somewhere. Well, sure. <laughs> Do you was your father an alcoholic? What what's going on? No. Um, do you I, drink? Sometimes, but not okay, often. Okay, yeah. So but that's, that's probably why you find that whole mentality an annoying. No, Start drinking wine. It's like normally I I lead into it. I first talk about ranch, and then I move into how ranch people. It's all like part of the same culture. Ranch? Like, yeah, like, like pe people that use the condiment ranch like on everything. Like, oh, like ranch like, dressing. Yes, and how, to me, I associate that with someone who would want to hear about cheeseburgers in paradise and that whole culture and how it just kind of the like... The ranch dressing culture. The ranch dressing, like, white America, like Walmart, like that. Right, you're, right, you're doing a whole cultural attack. Yeah, so normally I, like, lead up to it and it's not so angry, but I, I didn't say the ranch thing because I wanted to work out the Jimmy So Buffett with thing. the ranch thing, the Buffett thing would have made more sense. I think so. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're not on trial here. <laughs> and you say you were working out something right now? Well, like, I've done it, but I haven't done it, like, a bunch of times. You know what I mean? I think like, you're asking on a deeper level. Weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant, like, 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 you only have one minute. It's, like, a special event. So you're just, like, working out like a joke right now? Or no. Or you done Like, I... I don't know what, because you guys give tags, so I wanted to get some tags and like. Oh, have, let's give her some tags, tags but then. just like feedback. Jimmy and Buffett, advice. what an asshole! <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Buffett can. You're, suck you're trying it. to characterize what you think is is fucking you know sad about America. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's it, for you, it's ranch dressing and Jimmy Buffett and Walmart. Well. Yeah, maybe, yeah but uh, more like the people that go to these concerts, right. like no, that are it. like, I can't wait to go. The See Tommy Jimmy Bahama Buffett, shirts. and they're all wearing Tommy, Hawaiian t-shirts Tom, and Tom, like yeah. lays on their neck and like right. spilling their daiquiris, and then they go home and they said, "Wow, that was so much fun." Okay, yeah, yeah. but they're either Hawaiian shirts or t-shirts. There's no such thing as a Hawaiian t-shirt. Yeah, I don't know. I Hawaiian, get what you, I get what you're trying. A Hawaiian t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I get what you're trying. Yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a, it's a it's an area that you that's worth exploring, and uh, you know you uh, can continue to uh, develop it. It's tricky when you're trying to sort of, you know, attack uh, an entire type of person. You yeah. got to really pick the right things. And like, yeah, like I'd go after instead of Jimmy Buffett, I'd go after cat lovers. <laughs> <laughs> What's yeah. wrong with cat lovers, man? What's wrong? He's just taking a <laughs> shot at me, dude. <laughs> yeah, me and Mark are both insane cat lovers. Yep. So like, yeah, that's you're the insane cat posse, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, pussy. Boom. Oh. Yep. You know, Joey Diaz. Oh, are you talking again, oh, security? Because we'd really like you to just, uh, we'd like you to check the perimeter. Joey Hits Diaz here. agrees with her on the ranch because he says with, with buffalo wings, it's got to be blue cheese. 
I get what you're what trying to do. Fuck? I just think it's a, it's just a, like it's, it's, it's almost there. Yeah. It's just a little too angry. Like, be more chill about how I just no, like fuck the, things. No, fucking keep the anger. Okay. Just pick better references. Okay. You know okay. what? I yeah, think fuck what, the, keep I, the anger. Go all out. Have you been anger. to Toby Keith's I Love This Place? <laughs> Toby that might Keith's be more fun better. to make yeah. fun of. More, more fun because, to be Because, like, honestly, about. Jimmy Buffett people, they're usually sort of comfortable, wealthier white dudes. Right. You know, they're not like, you know, they're, you're trying well, to attack. Nobody well, here, I think, they, is for or against Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> No one has really f yeah. filed their opinions. Well, that's I think I have a little bit of a problem with them. Yeah. Oh, see, there's well, like, a, you're, you're yeah, speaking to somebody. Just, like, the culture, just like, I feel like when I looked up the tour dates, it was all in the middle of nowhere. And she like, looked up the tour dates, you guys. Yeah, I did. She did a lot I of did. fucking research. I read, I was that on should the Jimmy be the Buffett whole bit. So I was on the internet looking up Jimmy Buffett tour dates for this routine. I, I did. And I got angry. I did. I got really. All right. Thank, Thank you guys. very much. Sarah Sarah Wise Wise guy. Performing. Give it up. He's performing nowhere near me, and I've got a Hawaiian t shirt that I want to wear. She's on Twitter at Princess Shank, S H E N K. All right. Shank. We have one more comic. We have one until more. Until we get to our regulars, and we Wait, actually thought, found this. Yeah. Thing. We, I, I There's three one more out. comics yeah. until we get to our four regulars, <laughs> and then we'll wrap it up with our together six for semi regulars. Your next comedian, Jerron Horton, everybody. <laughs> An audience favorite. I'm not a very intimidating looking guy, so the gangbangers don't really take me seriously out here. Last week I accidentally wore a blue UCLA shirt in a blood neighborhood. And niggas told me to stay in school. <laughs> like I went to high school with these gang members, okay? They didn't respect me there either. Senior year they voted me most likely to still be alive in 10 years. Like I'm a punk or something. I don't know. I am light-skinned. That's probably why I don't get much respect. It sucks like white people ask me shit they won't ask no dark-skinned person. I like black people. I really do. But why did all of y'all vote for Obama? I'm not even going to assume because I'm black I voted for Obama. I'm a felon. I can't vote. <laughs> It's true, I am a felon, though. Um, it's true. It is. Uh, in Georgia, where I'm from, it's illegal for a black man to go to college. There you Thank go. you. Yeah. Okay, um, first question for me is, uh, did you seriously vote for Obama? What's that shit about? Uh, what the fuck? Actually, I, I overslept. Mm -hmm. oh. I was, I was going to vote wow. for him. Overslept a whole day? I, I, uh, I overslept the, the final day of registration. Oh, of registration. So, uh, if he would have lost, well, I would have Well, that's what they like. wanted you to do. Good job. <laughs> I thought you, you had um, some good jokes, That man. was great. Yeah, that yeah. was great. Yeah. Like, I, I just opened with a joke uh, because I, I have no criticism of what you just did. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. I don't Thanks. either. You connected with the crowd, mostly because they're scared of you, but uh, <laughs> you made them feel better by constantly talking about how, how non-threatening you are. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, well, there's some point of view there, and it's good. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, that. Heck, yeah. You know, right. I mean, absolutely. It's unbelievable. Charon Horton, everybody. Thank there you. he is. What can you say other than that's it? Let's really quick though. I really like to know what the uh, the Patriot thinks of. Uh, yeah, good question. That what, was what'd you as think funny of that? As a heart attack. No, I liked. I liked. I think Jerron's got a bright future ahead. Were you trying to be mean at first? No, I was just kidding. Sometimes I'm just kidding, brother. That was good. I, I like that. I, I, I see a bright future for him. I've, I've, every time he's been at the comedy store, I like that guy. He's, he's very professional. I understand why you made the heart attack reference because, of course, you have uh, that artificial heart in your chest ah. that, uh, you, 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 you know, if it gets unplugged, you could die. Yes. So it's, a, it's, it's important to you. Yes. You're the messiah of marijuana. There you go. Wow. Uh, I, I, you know, I, you I've always liked the Patriot, but I did not, I did not know what a truth teller he was. <laughs> Um, to close out every show ever since its inception, we've had two lovely young ladies who every single week, they're the only two regulars on the show, and every week they come out with a new 60 seconds of material. They started on the show. Yes. 
and they've been with us ever since. And but one of them's in the back right now going, fuck, my, what am I going to do about my Jimmy Buffett material? Right. <laughs> and they're both females, and, 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 which is weird because, like, females are, they get shit on as a stand-up comic. You know, like, it's weird seeing a stand-up comic Yeah, and they get called with, females. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like it's some sort of weird fucking alien species. Oh, we got some females coming out here, everybody. Oh. <laughs> yep. And, uh, they you don't shit with... on females, do you, Redman? No, I love female comics. <laughs> I shit in their you mouths. Dove, you do shit on. You've shit on a girl. In though. their mouths, not oh, on them. Jesus. In them. Hi yo. He likes um, to, he likes a challenge, not on them, in them. <laughs> right. <laughs> he gets it right in there. The poop in their butt. No. The double. All right. You're. <laughs> it's always good to take a premise that didn't work initially. And then right. <laughs> And then double it on. Let's three. hammer that <laughs> shit. The poop in the butt. Uh, and they are here with us tonight. So to get it started, uh, she was with us episode one. She's with us here tonight. Put your hands together for Sarah Mostajab. What's up, guys? Uh, so I'm bisexual. About the same reaction from my parents. Uh, or there's the guys I date like to call it, yes. Uh, which I know what they're thinking. They're thinking like threesomes. They're going to think like, yeah, this is going to happen. But uh, the last thing I want to see is some other dude fucking my girl. So that's for sure not going to happen. I've been sleep internet surfing. Uh, I get on the internet and I look up kittens. Uh, and I email people about kittens. Uh, I think my subconscious has completely misunderstood what pussy hunting is about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's what I have. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah. How much? How much under was that? Thirty-seven seconds. Less than that, actually. I I, I stopped late, yeah. so it's actually like thirty <clears throat> seconds. You want to do some more? I'm always coming up a little short. Uh, the I had another joke in that same pocket, is that uh, I'm bisexual because I guess being disappointed by one gender like wasn't enough for me. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'm still in that. What? Did somebody just bark at me? It's a meow. Get it right. Someone barked? I thought it... Rawr. Did anybody bark out there? I, am yeah, I they, just hearing... Not only oh, do it, am I asleep looking at cats, I'm hearing them? Okay. The girl with dogs in her head. Life's not going well. So... <laughs> tell us, could you repeat all of your jokes one at a time that you did tonight, and then we'll critique them? Because I, I liked it, but I've already forgotten all of it. <laughs> She's, uh, well, use your microphone voice, Mark. She's, she's, he can't even uh, sit up in his chair at this point. <laughs> she's you know, bisexual, and she disappointed her parents. Um, oh, I right? like the joke about yeah. um, uh, the three. The three. She, she doesn't want some dude fucking her lady. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That was good. It's true. Yeah. yeah true. That was, <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Yeah. And what else was there? Um. Um, about the sleep, and, and I literally have been like sleep internet surfing and emailing people about kittens. What were you, you, you really did that? I like I wake up in the morning to text message of pictures of kittens. They're like, hey, do you want this cat? I'm like, no, I do not. That is not the pussy I was looking for. Sorry. And you did that while you're sleeping? I've done it twice. Do you yeah. take the the sleeping pill? Um, What's no, it I just the one I, that makes you sleepwalk. Huh? Ambien? Take Ambien? No, I just drink a lot. I uh, drink myself to sleep. Yeah. Aww. I can't. I will know. I just uh, my brain. My brain is processing so many. I have to like, you know, turn, yeah. turn it off. I like it when you Shut said when you said pussy hunting. Because <laughs> that sounds like that sounds fun to me. It, it sounds like a fun activity. It is a difficult put on, like, prey. Put on like an orange vest and go pussy hunting. <laughs> What do you end up saying in these emails that you send in the middle of the night about cats? Um, I just said text text me about the kittens. That's what all both times the email said text me about the kittens. Text they, get back to you? they text me literally a picture of a kitten, and I'm like, oh, thank you. I'm not ready for that responsibility. No. Thank you. <laughs> what I really want was a picture of your pussy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's actually way better. Yeah. Yeah. Wrong yeah. pussy. Yeah. Have some more Nick. I'm going to keep hammering that idea because I think it's really funny. <laughs> right. Okay. Where's the pussy picture? But that was so. How does that stack up? You Fuck guys your have seen. Kitten. You guys have seen her every time. Uh, how does that stack up against her uh, previous performances? She's got point of view. She's she, bisexual yeah. and likes to drink. Yeah. Yeah. Those those Whiskey. are good points of view. Whiskey. Uh -huh. Whiskey. That's, yeah, I should add that. 
Uh-huh. Tony, are you um, are you still involved in this podcast? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, some, I, of I thought the, uh, some of that was from last week. Yeah, um, and, she didn't uh, really excite oh, us because we were just yeah. kind of used Doubled to this up. shit. Yeah, I got an email that said it. Was, they said go ahead and do stuff that you've done. Oh, before, okay, because so. this is a big show for you and. Yeah. Uh, do stuff that works. Big, uh, big, fun, big fun room to perform in. Did you feel yeah. comfortable? Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, I always have fun. It's great. I'm glad to be I here. I think you, you yeah. seem very comfortable with it. I think you're going to do yeah. fine. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. she's going to do great. Nice Born and started right on Kill Tony, episode I've been, one. I've been doing it for three months, 19 weeks that we've been doing this. I literally... Wow, that's tantric. Mm. There you go. <laughs> doing it. Get it, Mark? Yeah. 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 Just fucking have another Nicorette. Why are you yelling at me? <laughs> Why did I become the enemy, Doug? A guy who has no enemies. <laughs> Keep it going for Sarah Mostajabi, yeah. Sarah everybody. Mostajabi. On Twitter, job, she's at job. Sarah Dresser. You could watch her go up in uh, Popper Cherry. You could watch What's her bleed. Episode Definitely. two. And uh, your yeah, final... Yeah, something else. If you want to watch the other Kill Tonys, there was a lot of debate about the way she dressed. And if, if females should dress sexy when they do comedy or dress down so people will pay attention to their jokes. Well, she, she didn't wear underwear. You could see her fucking pussy lips in one of the episodes. And it was really uncomfortable. And we had to talk to her about it. And then the fu- like two episodes this later, isn't, she This had, isn't like, true what you're saying. No, this yeah, is 100% true. true. You mean she, was, she had like a camel toe, it's you're what? saying? Oh, it was more than a camel toe. Not it was true. like two camels. Not true? <laughs> it was like a camel. Came on half at what least. Come what? on, Tony. You just let the let the ladies wear what they want. Yeah. Really? But, yes. Well, I don't know yeah, about what go. you've worn in the past, but tonight you were dressed perfectly. For it's it. like, like it's totally nothing worse than a bunch of guys. Right, we got, saying, like, guys hey, you we got here, uh, our final comedian of the night again with us since episode one. Uh, she just uh, cut short her tr- family reunion in Florida to be back for this podcast specifically. Put your hands together for Kimberly Congdon, everyone. Don't ask me shit because I've gone fishing. In my brain, most things have gone missing. Hey guys, what's going on? Nothing. Uh. <laughs> Mark, you're not supposed to let her do her minute without your <laughs> interjecting. <laughs> um, I turned 23 last week. I did. And 23 is a really weird age because um, I think it's where people expect you to be responsible, but I just can't financially, you know? Like, I know that when I get invited to a party, I'm supposed to bring a dish, but I'm still going for the free food, you know? I know I'm supposed to pay rent, but I'd rather just build my apartment out of all the parking tickets I get. Even my relationships are poor, guys. Like, um, I'm dating, uh, you know, like at this age, you date people your own age, and they don't have money either. The last guy I was dating, we were making out. It was getting super hot. He started feeling on my booty, and I was like, are you taking change out of my pocket? Mm-hmm. You know? He was like tonguing my mouth, and then I realized he was taking my fillings. He was taking your what? Oh, your fillings. Your fillings. 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 With his fillings. Oh, and then bold, I go into uh, how he pawned my Nuva ring. Wow. Oh, that's the best, Brian. I know. I was excited for Brian, it. Brian, what's wrong with you? It's because the, all the before. other shit sucked. That's why. <laughs> That was your worst week you've done, by the way. Really? Why do you yeah. yell at the girls? That's what is rough. wrong with you? That's rough. Sometimes you got to give um, them tough love. They, yeah. Every every time we every time we've been a little bit real or mean to either one of them, they come back next week and dismount on applause breaks, and it's incredible. <laughs> but that was your worst week. You, and you got, got it's, yeah. you, so you, what you're saying is what a woman needs is you guys yeah. to uh, to fucking be rough <laughs> on them, get their shit let them know that it didn't work. I um I you know it, <laughs> Tony, a, you're like half a girl. There was a. Uh, <laughs> There's a disconnect for me on the um, that you would have change in your back pockets, like the, gotcha. you're stealing out your booty and got some change. But gotcha. uh, that Nuva ring thing, like getting yeah. there, is is totally worth yeah. it. Like that, yeah. like, that's a really funny yeah. joke. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, as Brian just said, your best joke. So he told you you were awful, and that you also Thank told you, your Brian. best joke. No, your best joke. He didn't say. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah, all those you, other jokes were you okay. You fucked up and waited till after the stupid noise he made. <laughs> Right. To say the best part. This is you the, know what? You still got it in because everyone can hear what we're saying right now. <laughs> and uh, I think it was, uh, you know, like sometimes uh, you need a whole minute to get to a good punchline. Totally. Right, Mark? Right. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you need five, Doug. <laughs> oh, I need 420 minutes, my friend. But, uh, uh, 
But yeah, that was the Nuva Ring thing. Is really did you just funny. make a 420 joke? Yeah. And I'll keep that one. I'll I get did. rid of the rest. Uh, that's Wouldn't fresh for joke you. As much fresh. As a, and wa- a watch reference. the new habit of uh, the, I've noticed a lot. At least four, five, six yenos coming out of nowhere. That okay. seems like a new thing. That's yeah, yeah. Try happy. to switch those up with an occasional oh my God. um. <laughs> or anything other than <laughs> or I mean. Oh, you, oh, you, really, Tony? The guy who segues with ah, oh, that's interesting. That was once. I mean, what am I supposed to say about the uncircumcised microphone? I mean, come you on. Did, you just said I mean twice. Yeah, you fuck. <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> I didn't expect this to happen. Kimberly Congdon, everybody. Yay! She's at Kimberly Congdon on Twitter. We did it. That's it. Doug Benson. Wait, what did the Patriot think of her? Good question. He's seen her every week, come except a long for the way first since week. the beginning. I really like the way she comes up and addresses the crowd. And she could you just talk normal instead of through a walkie-talkie? <laughs> and she's talking about a lot of the problems of being 23. You know, she go to a party, she needs free food. She, what was she saying about um, the oh rent? My God. She's gonna pay for I parking. I asked for your opinion, rent. not a recap. Yeah. <laughs> Now's not the time to ask us questions, Patriot. Um, well. He's at Comic Patriot on Twitter. <laughs> Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. You want to promote anything? Doug, you're here tomorrow with the podcast. Thank you for having me. I hope it went okay for you. Is that right? That, that was you were great. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, buddy. Oh, that was you amazing. Great, I actually was expecting to be the one that got it the worst from you the whole time, and I noticed some it's jabs, just, but it wasn't coming. that bad. I'm just going to drink away my sorrows tonight after, uh, no, it was fun. It was so much fun to have you guys. Unbelievable. Mark uh, Barrett on Twitter, Doug Benson on Twitter. Mark, do you got uh, anything you want to promote right now? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to be at the Ice House in Pasadena on the 13th. Whoa. And um, Wednesdays at 4.15 Pacific Standard Time, go to YouTube.com slash Doug Benson for Getting Doug With High. Uh, Jeff Ross is the next guest oh, on Wednesday. Oh, my good friend. And Kill Tony is every Monday night at 8 o'clock live from the Comedy Store. It's happening. This was episode 19. Join us Monday for 20. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much. <laughs> Comic Patriot. Comic Patriot on yeah. Twitter. I'm Red Man. Thanks, guys. Dick Moltz. Squad.tv.